I stare him down and look at him, buckets. That's, that's all that come to mind is buckets. You know what I'm saying? Uh, more than likely, you know, I'm, I'm going to attack you. Uh, I kind of look at your stance, kind of, you know, but really I'm just thinking about buckets. Marcus Horn steps baseline, fires, fills it up. You're in the streets and, you know, it's, it's kind of hard, you know, when you don't have an outlet. I never had my father growing up, so, you know, basketball, you know, kept me out the streets, you know, kept me in the house, uh, kept me in school. You know, uh, if I didn't play, I, I, I don't know if I would have went to class too much, you know, so. Uh, it took me to college and it brought me to where I am now, so I'm blessed to, to, to have picked it up. I'm blessed to have the people in my, in my life that, that helped me. And the reunion of the twins, you see the, the quick hug by Marquis. You know what we got to do? We got to do to feed our families, and if it's on the same team, then, then that's great. If it's not, you know, we still have to uh, keep the same focus. You know, I talk to them daily. You know, that's what you got FaceTime, you got phones and stuff like that for, you know, so. You know, we talk basketball. You know, I just tell him different things of what I've seen during the game, and he'll tell me different things of what he's seen and things like that. Reggie Jackson swings it down to Marcus, who hears it from the crowd. He was booed very loudly in the introductions, and the point continues. You know, I've been counted out since I've been in this league, and, uh, you know, a lot of people haven't really gave me a chance, you know. So, you know, every time I step on the court, I just, I just take the, the fact of being disrespected and, uh, you know, just try to, you know, show prove to myself, not only to the world, but prove to myself that I belong and, you know, that I, that I can play in this league with the best of them. Just like to welcome uh, Marcus and his uh, family and friends here to Detroit. The city of Detroit, you know, is reminds me so much of being in Philadelphia. Poverty, the city, you know, is trying to make a comeback, you know, um, fan support, you know, even if the team's losing or winning, fans are still there, you know, and they said standards high, but no matter what, they always with you and they always behind you. And then the toughness factor, you know, they embrace it, you know, uh, it's a fighting city. So, you know, I, I come out and I could be myself, you know, and not, you know, and not have to bite my tongue or have to hold back because of, you know, just the, the way the city is and things like that. I've been on teams where, you know, uh, the city don't, don't sort of not accept who you are, you know. So it's the first time in my career where I've, I've been able to be comfortable and being able to play the game that, you know, that I love, you know, the way that I want to play it. So. You know, I just enjoy being here, you know, and, and anywhere that's like home, you know, it, it just it just feel like continue to grow and, and you know, continue to be the player I'm going to be.